What is up, everybody? Yes, it is me. <laughs> I know I'm looking a little scruffy, but unfortunately I cannot get wet. And so I've been having to like, whatever you want to call it, prop my foot out to try to get clean. So I haven't been able to shave and wash my hair and all that, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm finally up and out uh, just enough to where I can come out here and hang out with dad. What are you doing, dad? <laughs> I got a trailer. I got a tote Pony Express in. What is up with the hat? Are you cold? It's cold yeah. out here. Yeah, it's a little cold. It was 30 degrees this morning. And for us, we ain't used to it. So I know we uh, talk about the weather and how cold it is a lot. But 30 for us is freezing. My power bill is through the roof with my heater running, especially when it's set at 73. Yeah, you heard me right. But, um... I wimpled or, or wobbled out here to see what dad was doing. I heard some noise and dad has this old enclosed trailer that is old, old. And seeing that dad's getting ready to retire pretty soon and that he's got the uh, Pony Express, which he has now named his car, the 33 SI, he has decided that he is going to redo this old trailer so that he has a really nice enclosure. If you know us enough by now, you know that we don't buy, go out and buy brand new stuff, even though we would like to, right? Um, but I don't even know if we'd like to. Yeah, Dad, you got a bunch right there. Oh, never mind. We're uh, we're more along the lines of oh well, I see why they put new down, but holy cow, it's rotted out. Y'all look at this. <laughs> oh God, look at this. The floor is gone. That's why they did it. Or maybe that's from just the Probably, the door leaking. But anyway, back to what I was saying. If y'all have been watching us long enough, y'all know that we like to take old things and make it nice again. So that's what dad's doing. He's got this trailer. And you say it's what size? It's a 16 foot. 16 foot. It was an old concrete company trailer. So this was a... This was the trailer that I went and got my first airplane. Uh, I was told I couldn't haul an airplane by somebody, and I ain't going <laughs> to mention that. But uh, You did it, though. Good friend of mine, Lonnie Mixon, uh, sold me this trailer at a very reasonable price. And I came in here, and I actually made stuff like this to hang my wings so i have my wings hanging up here had the wings along this side i had that my side. body up in here and then the rest of it me and my daughter-in-law tanya and my daughter brianna went up there and got this plane where at again st louis st louis up there the bank found it again <laughs> travis and, uh, if y'all are new to the channel, my brother Travis, we call him the bank. Most of y'all who follow along know that. Travis found Dad the plane, of course. So, He's good no, at that. I found the plane. Oh, did you? Okay, he, well, I'll stay corrected. And, uh, he went and looked at it for me, and we FaceTimed it. But the trailer's made it to St. Louis and back a few times, but it's old. It used to tote a modified, I think, when they put it up in here. Really? So, uh, 16 foot. 16 foot. I think so it's what, eight? The plan. So this door. Eight wide, maybe, Dad? Rusted out. Or a little bit less than 72 inches? It's about a little over six. Okay. So the back bars here for the doors have rotted off. Yeah. The top's rotted off here. We love rusty stuff uh, on this channel, don't we? <laughs> the so pure stuff. The plan is, I had this other boards in here and this other ply board and i didn't know why because when you look under the trailer other than this little section here everything looks good the rest of it looked pretty good from the bottom so here's my plan here we'll cut the front of it off put me a v-nose on this thing cut all that metal off put a v-nose on it uh i'm not sure yet i might take the roof off this thing actually and go up a little bit higher hmm. uh, that is an option. You just Don't have to cut all the sides. Yet. I have some guys here. OA Flynn knows how to do a little sheet mail work. So uh, I'm going to let him do some sheet mail. Him and Skyler are good at it. But I'll weld out the frame here. 
and put me a V nose on it. I'm gonna put a top on it, rails on the top, put an awning on the side. It's gonna have a bed in here. It's gonna have air conditioner. Nice. It's gonna have a little cooking stove in here. So that if I'm up there at the mag or something, Dr. Eaton and Miss Sherry want to come get a burger, I'll, I'll give them a burger. One, awesome. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it to where I can sleep in this thing if I'm traveling, that way I don't have to make the whole trip. Very cool. But done got no springs all the way under it, the axle bolts, all that have been done. I got four new tires coming. Uh, Very cool. Dad had to take both axles out and put new leaf springs in. So both leaf springs have been changed and he's got to get them some new tires and he'll go from there, right? But yep. what, of our, what is our plan actually for this video? We're going to try to work on the legend cars a little tonight, right? Yeah. So we're getting ready. we um, got to get Wyatt's legend car. we got to get Wyatt's legend car. Now that I have this uh, foot injury, I do not believe I'm going to make the first races, the first few at least. Um, I went to the doctor and I do have a good report on my foot, but I don't think I'm going to make it. So actually, you guys are in for a treat. I think we're about to load up here in a minute and go to Chase Holland's house and get some pot rivets. So that'll be cool. I'll get to go see Chase and Chavis and see the Holland group. So y'all hang tight, let's hit the road and we'll go check out the shop. guys we finally made it after two and a half hours because we had to stop at our unpaid sponsor chick-fil-a <laughs> but even still we got through the line in what five minutes 650 cars five minute wait times that was amazing but guys we are it is incredible to be here with chavis and chase y'all know them but we are here at the shop and we got our pot rivets and uh I'm not gonna reveal the car. You can. I'm not. Go no. Go are you sure? Yeah, I'm All right, guys. Go well, ahead. Chase is. Uh, I'm gonna let me let me uh, time lapse oh, my uh, my walk to the car. <laughs> <laughs> but Chase and them are in here working on the throwback for Mr. Holland. It is awesome. Y'all want to take the camera and show them the picture? I'm not gonna release this till after y'all's video, but show them the uh, throwback car on the top. That's up there. But. I know in one of my latest videos, I just showed you guys that, uh, or told you guys that I love a yellow race car. So seeing yeah. a yellow car to me is just yeah. very, very cool. So we brought this to the funeral home last night at my dad's service and had everybody sign it. So. That is awesome. We got the sign right yep. there too. Yeah. Had the so we, uh, we got our signatures on there because y'all know we support Chase and Chavis and Chase Holland Racing. We're their biggest fans, but, um, this place is incredible. I know y'all follow them on YouTube and y'all get to see the shop and everything, but we are just very humbled to be able to come and for them to allow me to come and for them to pick up the pot rivets. Y'all are going to see some uh, videos of chasing them at East Bay, so we've been having a good time just hanging out. You but, introduced us to a good friend there. Bobby ended up yeah. being on with us all week. Really? All right. Yeah, had, Bobby's all right. We had a blast with Bobby. <laughs> there you go, Bobby. I'm over here with Chase and Chavis, but uh, yeah, Bobby Rowland, uh, he got to come see y'all and we uh, gave Chase some pot rivet or got some pot rivets and Chase brought them back home. But um, again, I know that y'all are already subscribed to Chase, but if you're not, y'all make sure to check him out, Chase Holland Racing. 
And uh, again, we're just very blessed to be able to be friends with these guys. But we're going to head back to the house. And tonight we're going to get to going on the legend car now that we have the right pot rivets. Because them junky ones y'all saw me use last time were falling out. And the bodies were falling off and all that. But again, uh, we'll see y'all at the house. And when we get there, we'll get to work. So we made it back to the FFR shop. And we are out here on this cold night. And we're about to get ready to put this body back on the legend car. But before we do, I want to take this time real quick to thank the sponsor of today's video, Eric Hill. Eric Hill, what they do is they specialize in these infrared thermometer cameras and different products similar to this. And we want to thank them so much for sending this because they sent it just in the nick of time because my other Raytech gun that we use it messed up and so they have sent us this and what this is used for is a bunch of you already know but if you don't i'm going to let y'all know that with this gun it gives you exact temperatures using an infrared light that you shoot and you check tire temps you can check all kinds of different temperatures i know that this would have been really handy for me whenever i was troubleshooting my legend car with checking the header temps to figure out that one of my cylinders was not firing I do know that you can just touch that joker and it would be hot, but I didn't think about that, but this would have been perfect to make sure that all cylinders were heating up at the right times. And also this is really cool to be used for tire temps whenever you come off the track. So y'all make sure to go check out Eric Hill. I know that they have an Instagram that you can go look at. We'll get this thing out and I'll show y'all exactly how it works a little bit later. But while we had this break in the video before we start cranking on this legend body, I just wanted to show you guys and thank Eric Hill for being the sponsor of today's video. So now let's get right into the work and show you guys what we're going to finish up today. So now that we're back in here working, I'm going to reveal to you guys the paint scheme for our 2022 season on the legend cars. And uh, we're excited about it. We got the cars back from Cleo's paint and body. Uh, we haven't gotten the doors yet, but we did go ahead and order new fenders and a bunch of new parts, which I'm going to show you that later because obviously I'm out here, but I'm literally just going to be sitting. Um, I know I went to Chase's, but that's why I had to have dad drive. And uh, I didn't walk that much at Chase's house because I'm just now getting to the point to where I can take a few steps without my foot hurting. But that's enough of that. So to reveal it to you guys, our paint schemes, here we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So here is the new paint. Dad's in here thinking everything over. There's mine sitting over there. We went with black tops and white bottoms and all black fenders with black hoods. So we're excited about it. And to uh, now that we've kind of looked at them and Chase, or not Chase, Hunt the Front revealed their paint scheme for their dirt light models it's going to be very similar to that without the actual curve so we just went black and white and then we're going to have red numbers on the 13 and then we're going with yellow accents on the 12 so they'll still look alike but they'll have yellow and red instead of both being matching so but uh, other than that while dad's working and getting these bodies put back together i'm going to show you guys what being a couch potato does you order a bunch of stuff and I've got a bunch of new things in for the car. So I'll go over that with y'all. Well, before I could get back in here, guys, dad's already thrown the whole body on. He is killing it. Is it going smooth, dad? Or are we finding little hiccups? Oh, we had some hiccups. That's how fiberglass does. Yeah, it's, you it gets gotta, cold, it gets hot. You gotta mold it a little it bit. It moves a little bit more, so we're happy. But now y'all can see a little bit better. We're going with all black. So the hood's black. All the top, of course, is dusty. Let me see if I can wobble over here a little bit. You can see it's got dust on it from sitting out because of my surgery, but all black tops with all black fenders. And then of course the door will follow that same black with white. And then I already mentioned to you guys why it will have the same exact style as this, but it'll have yellow as the uh, complement color or whatever it's called, the uh, outline color, and mine will have red. But what we've decided to do is we've decided to make sure that we got Wyatt's car finished first. 
because mine's way off. I wanted to uh, show you guys and do a video before I went out for surgery on some of the crazy things that I found on my legend car. Um, it's really crazy. Like I, I took some stuff apart and I really have discovered why now my legend car with it being older why it has been as slow as it was and it amazes me to know that my car was one even running and two that the way it was running that it was staying together but it amazes me but as of right now wyatt's car is the only car that we're going to try to get going with the legends but i know i mentioned to you guys earlier that i wanted to show y'all some of the stuff that i've been ordering while i've been sitting on the couch this is my first night to actually be able to get out and go to Chase Hollins and come out here to the shop, even though I can only sit or stand on my foot about 10 minutes before the blood just rushes to it. And I feel like I've got an elephant foot, but um, I'm going to take this time while I'm uh, standing up to show you guys what I've been up to with our ordering and show you some of the cool stuff we got for the RSX cars and the legend cars. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys this infrared gun get it out and see how it works and then by that time dad should have most of the hard work done and it's just the real small uh, little detail things to do on this car and then we'll order the stickers and we'll check this one off the list but um let me show you all what we got so to show you guys a few things that i've been doing we got us four brand new tires for the 13 car so we'll have plenty of spares they will go on these brand new rims that we got. Um, we were willing and dealing and gave our good rims off of Wayne's 4-1 for these. So that's really awesome. So that was a very good uh, investment. Now we'll have plenty of spare tires for all these RSX we have. The next thing that I got from Wayne is my gas thing off of my car was bad to open and close the gas hatch. So Wayne got me that. Hold on, let me, uh, like I said at Chase's, <laughs> guys, I still can't walk and uh, I, can, I can make baby steps. You know how they always say, make baby steps before big leaps? That's what I'm doing. So y'all give me a second, I'm gonna get over here. I know as crazy as it sounds, I'm gonna get over here and show you what else I got. So three minutes later, got me some brand new NGK plugs for the 13. So that when we change the oil in that, hopefully that VTEC solenoid will work better and I'll get my VTEC back. All right, let me, I'll cut the camera and then I'll go show you all the good goodies uh, we got for the Legend car. So here we go, new Legend parts, foam for the fuel cell, which y'all will learn in the next Legend video why I got this. Got a new fuel pump, which again, Y'all will learn in the next video why I got this. <laughs> you can probably guess what's going on. But here are all my new accessories for the front end. Everything's brand new here. Heim joints, everything, ball joints, everything is new. I know if y'all watched that video of the last time we did the Legend, all that stuff was seized up. So I got all brand new everything for in here. So that is awesome. I also got some, I told y'all, brand new fenders, brand new everything for this car. So it's going to look amazing. And I'm not going to reveal to you guys yet what I found on the fuel tank, but y'all are going to be amazed. And also to update you guys, you may have seen it in this video sitting over there, my rear end. We found some major things wrong on the rear end of the 13, but that's going to be a later video. But I am excited about all this new stuff that we got for my car but again i know i keep saying it there's a lot of stuff that we have found on the 13 legend which is reason why it is heavy and also again i'm blown away at how the world it even was running like this but we'll uh we're about to wrap the video up i'm going to show y'all what dad has done and uh we'll uh call it a day amazing job dad Thank you for your help. <laughs> yeah, it's going to need a warm day, right? Yeah, yeah it is. 
I'm gonna get that thermometer gun out, that infrared gun out real quick, and we'll see if it works and see how cold it is instead of how hot. Yeah, we're gonna have to straighten that out. But here is kind of, if y'all can tell what it's gonna look like, just imagine a white thing right there. And that is our new look for 2022. I think it looks mean. I really like it. And I cannot wait to get mine back together. Hold on, I'm limping over here. These fenders are just sitting up here, but you can see how mean it looks from the front. Check this out. It looks all black, like a completely black car. And then it's got a little splash of that white on the side, just like, almost like hunt the front, just like I talked to you guys about. But um, we don't have the side pieces on yet. Cleo's still working on the doors to make sure he gets that line right. Dad has the backs on and we're waiting to put the fronts on until after we get our pieces all straightened back out and repainted and stuff like that. But overall, we're happy with the paint, happy with the progress on the car. I'm so thankful for dad coming back down and uh, helping me on this because I wanna get Wyatt's ready to go. So let's check out this infrared camera and then we'll call it a night. Our camera, infrared gun, and then we'll call it a video. So here's the gun, that thing's light, ain't it? There you go, scan it across the tires. What's the temperature of it? It's 42 degrees. 42 degrees on that tire it's too right cold there. in the shot. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go get a uh, candle and we'll light it. How about that? Mm -hmm. Y'all really cool? Hey, For, look, good tire pressures, uh, temperatures, they all 42 degrees. Are they? So at yeah. least it's consistent. Y'all make sure to go. The door panels are. 43 degrees. I like that bright LED screen. Let's see how hot I am. I'm running a cool 81 degrees. Hey, that's good. Y'all right, make sure night. you head it out. I'm headed out. All right, Dad, thank you. Y'all be sure to go check out Eric Hill if y'all are interested in this. Uh, I'll leave links in the description, but I'm very thankful for Eric Hill for sending us this, and uh, we're going to definitely be using it. We'll call that a video, guys. Uh, we want to thank the Holland family so much for their hospitality, for having us over today. And uh, we want to thank Bobby Rowland for getting us these pot rivets, which allowed us to do this body work. This is what was holding us up. And uh, we're very grateful for them guys, all of you guys really, very thankful for all of your support. Y'all don't forget to go back and watch the last video on the 2000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much for that. To be sure to enter in for some free tickets to a race of your choice this year. I'm excited to be able to bless you guys with that for being the blessing you are to us to help us grow this channel. If you haven't yet, doesn't cost you nothing, please hit that subscribe button so that we continue to grow FFR because we're getting closer to the race season and it really helps our team. If y'all are interested in our sponsorship group, $50 still available. That will be available all year. If you'd like to jump on that and uh, see some behind the scenes stuff, like for instance, the guys on that group got to see a sneak peek of this body when we got the body back. So that's some of the benefits to that. We're gonna get the stickers ordered, get them here. I'm excited about uh, the, re the results on some of the stickers on how they've turned out. Some of the new logos look really good. And I'm excited to put them on the cars to really make them pop. Because I know it's gonna really make these cars stand out when they match and everything looks uniform. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everybody. And uh, we're gonna get in here, get my foot iced down, even though it's cold out here. It's probably ice, but it just feels bad. Y'all continue to pray for me for a fast recovery. I do know that I'm gonna miss a couple of the first races. So I may have a surprise driver in the 13, but y'all are gonna have to stay tuned to find that out. Still accepting sponsorships, still have our hats and our merch available. I just placed the uh, order for the Falcon. so. The shirts for the Falcon should be here shortly, and we'll have them available to sell. We'll see y'all guys in the next video.